here we are, Robin the Sudoku guy with yet another tutorial. Before I start the tutorial, a couple of little points. First of all, thank you so much for all of those lovely comments that you put underneath the videos. And you know what I've discovered recently? There are some people who um, ask questions in those comments which shows me that they either haven't understood a, a technique uh, or they've missed out some lessons previously or something like that. And some of the, somebody the other day actually said to me, you know, when I went back and looked at the previous lessons and suddenly realized there was a technique that I'd forgotten all, re all about. So I'm now looking for that technique as I do the puzzles. Now this particular puzzle today, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a technique called, what I call actually, the walking stick. And I've got here a walking stick somewhere here. Uh, oh yes, here it is. Here's a walking stick. There's one there, there's one there, this is the handle, and there's your stick. Here's another one that's on its back, there's a handle here and there's a stick. Here's another one that's sideways, down there, and here's another one over here. These are all what I call walking sticks. Now, as usual, when I first look at a puzzle, I look for something that certainly stands out. You've probably seen something already. Now, I'm going to use the red pen to show you what numbers we put in. So here we go. And the first thing I noticed was that here we have an 8 on the right, an 8 on the left. Therefore, the 8 has to be in the center down here. And we'll make that an 8. And the reason I'm doing that is that this now is another walking stick. Now, let's, whoops, let's now start off with... Uh, this one here, in block one. The way that you look at a walking stick is simply this way. In this block, you have three empty cells in a row. Could be vertical, could be horizontal, like it is here. Now, whenever you see that situation, you know that any other numbers in that column, right up and down that column, cannot be there. They have to be over there. Therefore, if I look at this puzzle here, what is down here that's not already over here? Well, there's a 3, 9 already in here, but there's not a, a 4 and a 6. So the 4 and a 6 have to go here and here. So let's look at that. Now, I can put 4, 6, 4, 6 in there or something like that, but there's a 4 already over there, so I put a 6 there, and therefore this becomes a 4. Now, this has a very interesting ramification. Here in this block we have a 4-6. Here in this block we have a 4-6. Therefore in this block, using left, right and center, there has to be a 4-6 matching pair there. So th look at the ramifications of just that little discovery. Now let's look at this block. It's also got uh, three empty cells in this column here. Therefore, basically the rule goes again that if you've got numbers in this column, they cannot be up in here. They have to be over here. Now let's look at We've only got two numbers and we've already got a two in this walking stick. So therefore the five must be over here. Now the five can't be there because of that five. Therefore the five goes there. Now what's the ramifications of that? Well, we now have a, a middle, a bottom, this becomes the top. Now you're left in this block with a matching pair, but I'm not going to go with that route right now because I want to show you the walking stick technique. But let's look at a ramification here too. Here's a left, here's a right, this has to be a center. And that's an upside down walking stick. Now let's go over to this walking stick here. Here it is where you've got three empty cells. That means that anything along here cannot be there. It has to be up here. Now the seven is already in the walking stick, but the two isn't. Therefore the two has to go in one of these two here. It just so happens there's a two already there, so it can't go there, so it will go there. And boy, oh boy, you could then say the ramification, we could have a little two here and a little two there. Now, let's push on to another one. Or oh, here's, here's an interesting situation. 
in this, here's a walking stick, the three empty cells there. So anything in along, in along here has to be in here. Well, there's already a two. What's the two other numbers? Well, it's a four and an eight. And I want to point out something very interesting here. If it's a four and an eight, have a look up and down here. Look, here's a four, so that'll have to be the eight. And there's an eight, that'll have to be the four. But I want to also point out that you, you knew another way of knowing that that was a four and an eight is that you have a TMB with two numbers. Four, eight, four, eight, middle, top, four, eight would have to go in there. Okay, so there's another one. Now here is a, another block which has got a um, walking stick in it. And again, let's go through the same uh, technique rule. In this column here, down in here, whatever is, is uh, in here, here, 9, 3, and an 8, cannot go there. It has to be over there. But we already have an 8, so it has to be a 3 or a 9 that has to go over here. But here comes an interesting thing here. There's a 9 already there, so this cannot be a 9. It will have to be the 3, and therefore that becomes the 9. And what does that do? It automatically makes this a 2. We'll put it in. Fine, now you've got a matching pair, which you know what to do from previous lessons. Let's now have a look at this, this walking stick. We, because we put the 8 in, we have a walking stick. Now, um, therefore, just go through the rules again. These three, this, these three empty cells is what you're looking for. Anything up in here cannot be here. Well, we've already got a 9 in here. Uh, we've already got an 8 in here, so the 9 and 8 out, so it has to be, and there's already a 3, so the only number that's come over here that has to go there is a 4, so we can put two little 4s in. Don't think there's a 4 there, we can, no, 4, 4, one of those we know, and if you, you can ch double check that, because here we have a left, we have a centre, there has to be on the right, so there's another way of helping. Now we come to, oh here's, here's another one, look at this. We have another, this is an upside down walking stick. Therefore, any numbers in this column cannot be there. They have to be over here. But guess what? In this case, we can't solve any of those numbers because we already have a 2 and a 5 here. So that's it for that. But now I want to finish this tutorial off with a very interesting little trick. And it's easy to miss it but I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you. Here we have these three, look at these three blocks. You have a, uh, a 4 and a 9 and an 8 in this block in these two columns. Over in this, in this block you have also a 4 and a 9 and an 8 in these two columns. Therefore, in this block, there has to be a 4, 9, 8 in those three cells. And you can, uh, you can put them down the bottom here if you want to. Four, eight, nine. I'll put them in order. Or you can put, keep them in your head. Let's look at that now. Four, eight, nine. Using that system, here's an eight, nine. So four, uh, the, an eight, nine can't go there. So that has to be a four. And you can verify that. We have right, center, and left. Therefore, you're left with a, an eight, nine that's left over. So I can write out the four so I don't get confused. And you can go to the 8 and 9 now. But guess what we've got over here? We have a 9. So that has to be an 8. And that has to be the 9. So that's a very quick revision of the walking stick. Watch for it. Uh, yes, this is an easy puzzle. But you can use them in all puzzles. So that's it for today. Bye for now.